Welcome to the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Fish Passage and Diversion Screening Inventory Database Tutorial. This video introduces you to the Fish Passage and Diversion Screening Inventory Database, also called the FPDSI Database. It describes a few ways to retrieve data from the FPDSI Database, and it explains how to use the Barrier Correction Form to submit new data or corrections for a site in the database. You'll navigate to the Fish Passage Program homepage by going to Conservation, then Habitat Restoration and Protection. In the left column, select Fish Passage. One way to easily view the locations of the features in the FPDSI database is to use the WDFW Fish Passage Barrier Map. Click on this link to pull up the Fish Passage Map. This map is our current web-based GIS that allows you to zoom into an area of interest and select fish passage features that have existing data. Clicking on one of the dots will provide you with a pop-up window that displays a subset of the available data. Fish passage features that can be selected on this map include road crossing structures, such as culverts, bridges, fords, etc. It includes dams, fishways, and miscellaneous obstructions, such as dikes, flumes, pipeline crossings, and more. The map only shows sites that have data in the FPDSI database, and therefore not every fish passage feature statewide is included. But currently we have over 43,000 sites in the database, and a single site may have more than one feature. An example is a dam where the fishway would be considered just one site, but with two features. If you zoom in and select the site, and then notice that some of the information that's provided in the details window is inaccurate, scroll to the bottom of the window and click More Info next to Barrier Correction Form. This will take you to the Barrier Correction Form where you can notify us that either the structure has been replaced or removed by selecting I have a fixed barrier to report or to let us know that some of the attribute information is incorrect. Examples of attribute corrections would be if we had the wrong stream name or owner of the feature. A link for form instructions is provided in a Word document if you need help filling out this form. Once you've completed the barrier correction form, at the bottom of the page, click Submit Form Info. You can also view the fish passage map on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the free ArcGIS app. Instructions for downloading the free app are found here above the map. If you turn on your smartphone or tablet's location settings for the ArcGIS app, you can quickly zoom into your location in the field to see if we have data for a nearby feature. One important thing to note in these pop-up windows is the feature's site ID. This is the number that's easiest to reference if you would like to contact us for more information on a specific feature, such as requesting habitat survey data, photos, or a priority index number, or to use as a reference in the geo database that I'll show you now. If you have GIS software that is capable of reading an Esri Geo database, another way to get more data for a feature is to go up to this link to download the Geo database that we publish to the state's data portal. On the portal, you can use the search box to quickly locate the fish passage inventory. As you type, the data catalog listing begins to filter in the description field containing the string in the search box. Once you locate the WDFW Fish Passage Barriers Inventory, you can preview the metadata to learn more about this data set before downloading. We try to update the GEO database on a quarterly basis, so you may be interested in checking the publication date. To download the GEO database, Click on the Download Layer button that looks like a box with a down arrow. This may vary depending on your browser, but you'll then want to save the zip file somewhere that you can find it. 
I'll just use my desktop for this first step. Go to the zipped file that you downloaded, right click, and select Extract All. Choose a location that's convenient for you. I'm going to allow it to create a folder on my desktop and click Extract. The new folder contains the metadata and a short README text file that you should review to develop an appropriate understanding of the fish passage and screening inventory data. The fish passage barrier inventory MDB file will appear as a Microsoft Access file icon. It can be opened using Microsoft Access, but Esri does not recommend doing so as a user may inadvertently corrupt the data structure of the GEO database. The best way to explore the content is to use Esri Arc Catalog or add the data to an ArcMap document. If you connect the folder to Arc Catalog, you'll be able to view the contents of the three main point feature classes, dams, miscellaneous barriers, and road crossings. If you're familiar with the ArcGIS relationship classes, you can view the related tables. You can add the MDB to ArcMap and then use the Identify tool to explore the fish passage feature attributes more detail is provided in this MDB than what we saw earlier in the barrier map on the Fish Passage homepage. For the culvert that I've selected here, you can now view the structural dimensions. If you have questions about the FBDSI database, a contacts link can be found on the left side of the Fish Passage homepage. Thank you.